So a couple of days ago, I made a video about COPPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and YouTube, and how basically we're all screwed. I want to kind of amend that because maybe not all of us are screwed. I have a feeling that maybe it'll just be more of the high-profile channels that are going to get screwed the most. Because if you think about it, it's not going to make sense to put a $42,530 fine on a small, like, sub-1 million channel that has no chance of paying off that money. No chance. Now... Will there still be fines for smaller channels? Could be. Could be. Here's what I think. It says in the wording, up to. It does not say a mandatory fine of. It says a mandatory fine up to. So, <laughs> for less egregious offenders, for people that are, you know, they are breaking the rules, but they're more like, uh, I don't know. They, <laughs> they've only got 10,000 viewers or so or whatever. They might get a fine of a thousand bucks, which might still seem like an unfair thing. And believe me, it is. But a thousand dollars to pay off is a lot more manageable than 42 <laughs> 42000 for a guy that's making pennies on the dollar working at your local Walmart or your local McDonald's. Because let's be fair, most YouTube creators that do not already have a, a, a dedicated space, a dedicated audience, and a dedicated presence have day jobs. <laughs> this is their night job. This is their hobby. This is the thing they do on weekends when they have time. Um, for me, it's an everyday thing, but that's only because, and mom's going to kill me for having my collar bad. But for a lot of people, YouTube is not their full-time thing. For me, it is, but it's not a profitable thing yet. So, you know, it is what it is. Either way, this is going to be one of those things that... Um, can make or break a lot of big creators. I mean, think PewDiePie, Markiplier, um, Jacksepticeye, the odd ones out. Oh God, a lot of the animation channels are going to end up screwed because with the idea of the for kids or not for kids thing, if you mark yourself as for kids, you're going to end up with a 90% revenue cut on top of whatever might end up being given to you as a fine and even the big creators don't make that much i mean they may i'm not saying that they don't make anything at all i'm just saying that when it comes to what we think a youtube creator makes and what they actually make it's a it's a whole lot different now there are estimates of what creators make but Unless we see the actual numbers from the creators themselves, we cannot know. But I know it's a lot less than what a lot of these creators deserve and are worth in the grand scheme of things. So do I feel like it's going to be a, an apocalypse for everyone? No. Do I think it could be an apocalypse for a lot of children's oriented channels? Yes. Do I think it could be an apocalypse for a lot of the bigger channels because they're the first targets in the war against whatever it is that they've got going now. Yeah, and let's be honest, the FTC representative that, to that talked about YouTube creators being like fish in a barrel, easy targets to shoot, um, let's be fair, he's an idiot, but he's also quite right in that we are sequestered here in our own corner of the of the internet and as long as we remain here we are fish in a barrel for them to just pick off one by one 
rather than if we were to diverge from YouTube, we wouldn't be fish in a barrel, but we would also not be the big fish in a small pond that's able to make a living necessarily. Um, a lot of creators do not have diversified funds. They usually rely either wholly or mostly on AdSense, which is, as far as I know, only available through YouTube. So, with that being said, YouTube is... It is potentially in danger of going down the tubes. I'm not going to give you any any, any bull crap about that. There is a huge chance that YouTube could, in the next year, next five years, next ten years, end up dying and being replaced by either TikTok or the next kind of whatever platform it might be. I think BitChute might have a good chance considering they're already, they already have a good sizable amount of users. Thanks to the um, pretty good integration with YouTube itself for automatic publishing from YouTube to BitChute. But again, I do think that this is more than just more than just a YouTube apocalypse. It's a complicated situation with a lot of facets that we don't understand yet. A lot of these things don't start until December, so we won't see anything about it anyway. So, basically, at this point in time, we're looking at... Um, we're basically looking at, okay... What are we doing to try and uh, continue on with this, continue to manage this in a positively good way? And it's hard, but it's okay. I mean, we'll get through, but it's going to be rough. A lot of creators are going to have to buckle down and really get their act together and really just toe the line, but we will make it through this. It's not nearly as bad as what we might think it is. I know Boogie2988 just recently made a video of a Francis sketch, although I do fear that some of his own psychosis and just plain anxiety leaked through because when he started really screaming, it sounded more like him than it did Francis. But with all these fear mongers and just... um. Well, not fear mongers, but just um, overreactions and just panic. I mean, we're we're not doing ourselves any good by not looking at the situation more closely. I don't feel like this might be the end, but it could also be the beginning of an end, just like many other things have been part of the beginning of the end for YouTube and for a lot of things related to YouTube. In that in that case, I think that we are pretty much on, on, kind of on a death spiral with YouTube, but we do have hope that we might still last a few years before that becomes the only option. And then hopefully by then there is an alternative platform that has risen up to help take the the um the place, I guess, of YouTube, or at least the um, the importance of YouTube for video, online video sharing and online video content. Maybe it'll be um, maybe it'll be Storyfire. Although, unless they open up the video part to everyone, I don't see that being the best option right now. But you never know; things will things will happen as they do. And things will be okay, I think. We're going to be okay. All right? Thanks for watching.